A thousand years ago, the Eon Akivli traversed across worlds, laying down the star rail that linked worlds together in the Sea of Stars, and leaving behind countless legends about the universe and exploration. The brave and curious were attracted by the tales of these adventures and followed the steps of the Trailblaze, joining the god on their journeys to explore the galaxy. The adventurers called themselves the Nameless. They rode on the express created by Akivali and set off on thrilling adventures on planets connected by the Star Rail. Legend has it that Akivali, the Trailblaze, loved journeying with mortals. They and the Nameless would share wine from various worlds and sing songs composed by countless races. They would disguise the moving express as the trail of a shooting star and laugh at the people looking up in awe. However, they would often get into deep trouble due to their recklessness, only to be saved by the Eon's power. Akivali formed a deep bond with their followers, and their adventures continued to attract travelers to join the ranks of the Nameless. When Akivali fell, a group of loyal Nameless carried on what the Eon had started, continuing the exploration of the unknown. They held the belief that one day the will of the Trailblaze will connect the entire universe. The Astral Express that once carried Akivali and their followers still hurries between the stars to this day. It is believed that the Express is powered by the heart of the deceased Eon, and is repairing with great difficulty the Star Rail, contaminated by the unknown cancer. After the fall of Akivali, the Eon of Trailblaze, their trailblazing will was inherited by their followers, the Nameless, including the Astral Express that the Eon once rode on. However, as the cancer of all worlds continues to spread, the star rails that the Express runs on also fell victim. The Express could barely move before the Blight descended and had no choice but to run aground when the rails became overly obstructed. It remained so for many years until a young girl with red hair discovered the desolate Express. She was fascinated by the worldless stories the engine and the star rails had in store. She spent countless hours repairing the cracks and evening the dents, restoring the express to its original form. The curious girl then set foot into the express and began her trailblazing voyage that surveys the galaxy. The Astral Express made stops at every station with passengers boarding and exiting along the way. Many join and leave the express's journey, and the travelers come from different worlds, shoulder different burdens, and head to different destinations. However, while they are on the Astral Express, they would share the same voyage. This is why Himiko and the Express do not hesitate to open the doors to anyone willing to share this magical experience, regardless of their agendas and intentions. There are three directions on the compass of destiny. The unknown, the known, and the unknowable. They can tolerate the unknown, but will never bow to the unknowable. Akivali left the isolated world of Pagana and continued to expand the unknown edges of the universe, trying to find an endpoint of the Tree of Existence. Unfortunately, Akivali's destiny was abruptly ended due to an accident. Which brings us to the interstellar travel phenomenon. In the ancient times before Akivali and the Trailblaze traversed the starry skies, people were already casting their eyes to the mighty galaxy above their heads. Armed with infinite curiosity towards the unknown, countless civilizations had started space exploration. However, their attempts had all failed. In the imaginary tree theory put forward by Xander I Kuwabara, first member of the Genius Society, the universe is filled with mysterious imaginary energy. Imaginary energy isolates galaxies from each other and even light cannot pass through it. Therefore, human space exploration is often limited by the boundaries of their individual worlds, unable to advance any further. Xandar also posed a hypothesis that the humans would be able to control the universe and if we can control and manipulate that imaginary energy. It was a romantic illusion for a long time until it was brought into reality by the appearance of the emanators of the eons. So what is the imaginary tree theory? Well, this theory describes the various worlds existing in different space-time as a tree-like structure. Basically, every branch is a specific path along which worlds might exist, with every leaf being the marks these worlds have made along the parameter of time. The crown of the tree remains in a dynamic state as it absorbs the masterless imaginary energy from the space-time vasculature of the trunk. 
New shoots grow, wither leaves fall, and endless births and deaths occur among the countless universes. Describing the universe's structure as a tree may be an attitude that views the imaginary tree as a life form. The Intelligentsia Guild had once thought that Harold Punch, the second member of the Genius Society, was the first to propose the imaginary tree origin theory. After multiple assessments on the influence of the history fictionologists, the scientific community now commonly accepts Xandar I Kuwabara as the person to have proposed it. So, is the imaginary tree basically what Akivali of the Trailblaze was actually searching for when he was on his travels to find really the endpoint of the tree of existence? Is the tree of existence just the beginning of the imaginary tree? Are they connected? Well, it's pretty hard to say with that limited knowledge we have, but we know that Akivali the Trailblaze is the one who started the whole trailblazing and the nameless to begin with. So what he was looking for seems to be the end of the universe or basically the existence of the beginning of the tree of the universe. You could also say that the tree of existence that Akivali was searching for is basically saying where did the universe begin and where is the end. As he traveled to the edges of the universe, you'll remember that he was trying to find an endpoint to this tree, but unfortunately it was abruptly ended due to an accident. But Kivali is basically an eon, so are eons transcended beings or ancient beings that transcended into a state of, like, godhood? Hard to say, and if so, how does somebody who has attained the power of Godhood meet its end. You'll also remember in the beginning about the Nameless and that the Eon Akivali uh, basically traversed the across worlds a thousand years ago or more. So already a thousand years ago, Akivali was already considered and was or is an Eon. Whether he is the originator of Eons or the beginning or the you know, middle, who knows. But a thousand years ago, he was Neon. Another thing to note about Akivali is that the factions, I guess you could say, uh, or the adventurers who traveled with him, were called the Nameless. And that's another thing to, I guess, look at, is that they rode on the express created by Akivali. And basically set off on thrilling adventures... Uh, and, and planets that were connected by the star rail with this eon. So this is a relationship of an eon with, I guess we'll say humanity, and they were traveling together. So basically a god or an eon uh, had good relations with his followers. And I guess the last real important thing to note is that the Express that we keep referring to was, well, it was a Kivalize. And that Express is the Astral Express, which is the same Astral Express that we ride on. So, after the fall of a Kivali, basically, the, the Trailblazers, you know, this whole Astral Express was inherited by the followers. So, is Himiko a follower of a Kivali? Are several different characters actually followers of different eons? It's hard to say. And if they are, which eon are we technically following as the main character? And does our Stellaron have anything to do with that? If you enjoyed today's lore and some of my thoughts and theories, Leave your comments below, tell me what you think, and remember to like and subscribe if you would like to see more of these videos. Guys, remember to be well, be epic, take care.